Hi, Julie Dean with Culinary Works here, and I'm with my assistant, Catherine. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. And uh, we all know the big game's coming up, so we are going to have a nacho face-off. I'm ready. Okay. All right. So we're going to do the tried and true Brookie nachos. A lot of people know about the Brookie nachos. Catherine, you've made them before. Yes, I have several times. Okay. Being favorite. Exactly. So, and then I'm going to be doing over here a sheet pan nachos, and they're going to be coming up in my Super Bowl class, which is coming up, and when is the Super Bowl class? Like next Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah, next Wednesday. Wednesday. Next Wednesday, so you can sign up for that. Um, and then, so what we're going to do is I'm going to have Catherine review her ingredients, and then she's going to start to assemble her nachos, and then I'm going to review my ingredients, and we're going to go from there. So why don't you go ahead and say Sounds what you great. All right, so I have tortilla chips um, laid out on the um, sheet pan, and then I've got some mayonnaise, mm -hmm. chili powder, I have black beans, scallions, and I have a Mexican blend of the cheddar cheese. Right, and Catherine said at home, so they don't really, they don't like the Mexican blend, they like the cheddar jack, so really just depends on whatever you like. You could do all cheddar, you could do cheddar jack, you could do all Monterey jack, so whatever kind of cheese you like. Um, so why don't you go ahead and start, you know, putting all the okay. ingredients in there. Sounds good. Um, and then we have a 15 ounce can of black beans here. We have the, the standard two cup size of the cheese. It might be a lot of beans, so she's probably only gonna use um, maybe like two thirds or something. I think so. Yeah. yeah, so you can kind of play with it. Um, so go ahead and okay. start that. Sounds good. And then I'll talk about uh, mine now. So we have the sheet pan nachos. Those are pretty common. You guys have seen those on lots of um, you know video posts and things like that. So we have just a bunch of, ch of chips here where Catherine's chips, you wanna kind of you know, definitely have the whole chip there, but with mine over here, it's okay to have a couple broken ones. Sometimes it's nice to kind of only have a small chip thinking that you're really not having that much, but you really are, so. And then we have uh, cilantro onion, which is gonna go on on the top. We have some jalapenos, which are gonna go on the top. And we have uh, some fresh cut tomato. And in here, I have a mix of um, sharp cheddar and uh, Monterey Jack. And then lastly, I have a little, little bit of chili. So you could certainly use like ground beef, like seasoned, like, you know, taco style ground beef. You could do shredded chicken. Uh, you don't have to do any meat at all, but I thought uh, for this purpose, we would do half. So I'm gonna just cover a little bit of the um, half of the sheet here with the uh, chili mix. This has some beans in it, has onions, has peppers. Probably all the men would certainly go for this side and the ladies would go for the other side. And actually, Kath and I were just talking a couple of minutes ago before we started saying that I also made a veggie chili, and then with the veggie chili, you could certainly uh, throw that on there for like a ladies nacho, right? They would like the, that, I'm sure. Okay, so we're kind of pleasing everybody here, doing a little bit of both. Julie, would you dump this whole thing of the chili? Yeah, in? so I think so, so go ahead, yeah. So she's gonna add her chili powder. That's good. And, and maybe a little splash of the red pepper. Yeah, a little bit of the, of the red pepper for a little bit element of heat. Now kind of on mine over here, you're gonna use a lot of cheese, like way, way, way more cheese than you would think. If you get anything from this video, remember this. If you're gonna make nachos like this, you need to use a lot of cheese. Everybody always, uh, I remember working in the summer and um, they used to make nachos at this bar. I used to work in Delaware and Dewey Beach and they used to use so much cheese. I was always so flabbergasted, but I realized the reason why is because it really made it taste good. So, all right, so we're gonna spread out our cheese here. Oh, Catherine's looks great, so. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks awesome. So she's gonna start spreading hers on, and you add a little bit of cayenne? I did add a little bit of cayenne. Okay, fantastic. Um, she's gonna start spreading hers onto the um, individual nachos. Okay. Now, if you were um, making these at home, you could like make your mix and then bring the nachos with you. Oh, that's a good tip. Right, then yeah. have, your, have it in a container, yeah. and then that way you can assemble it there. I'm gonna take the rest of your scallions okay. here, because why not? Sounds right. good. Throw those on there. Put on our tomatoes here. Is it looking good? It smells good, too. So I think we're gonna have to name, maybe mine will be NFC, yours can be AFC. That sounds great, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll see. We'll have to post later as to which one won. But you guys could be the judge too. So once you make this at home, these are super easy. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Here, I just want to show you. This is a quick little tip here. So we're gonna drizzle on some sour cream at the end, and this is a nice, easy way to fill a Ziploc bag when you don't want to, you know, get a mess all over the top of the bag. So all I did was put it around a glass, and then this way you can lift it up. So I have a sour cream in here with a little bit of lime juice and a little bit of chili powder, mm. just to kind of give it a little bit of color, a little bit of. 
Also make it a little bit more liquid. I didn't really want, we had said, like we don't want like the big, no, the dollop, like the big dollop on top. We just wanted it to be like a spread, like a little bit of a drizzle. So once they come out of the oven, then this will go on top. All right, so mine are gonna be ready to go in the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and- I'm right behind you. I'll get mine ready and take the time, it's fine. Um, um, uh, do you see our, our Dallas, by the way? Um, this is for Catherine. She's, yeah. she's a Texas girl, so. Sad that my team is out. I know, I know. But it was so a good sorry. run. It was a good run. The Giants, however, didn't do that well this year, but that's okay. All good, we still like the Giants. Okay, so I'm gonna get mine in the oven. So just take a quick peek here, right? Lots and lots of cheese. We did the chili on one side. Again, you could do any other kind of meat. You could do chicken, you could do pork, you could do um, turkey. Um, you could do like veggies, you know, veggie chili or something like that. Okay, should. awesome. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so NFC versus AMC. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put them in the oven here. And really it just depends on, you know, what temperature your oven's on. When you go to your friend's house, maybe your, their oven's on 400, stick them in. If it's on 350, it's okay, stick them in. So, and just keep your eye on them. So we're gonna give them a couple minutes. We'll be right back and we'll show you the finished product. Okay, so we're back. So NFC, AFC, Nacho Face Off here. Uh, Catherine's look awesome. They do look good. They look really good. But I like how these look too. I know, I know, they look good too. Okay, so let's garnish these and then we'll give them a try. Okay. So just to repeat here what we have, we have the sour cream mix here with a little bit of lime juice and um, chili powder. We have the cilantro onion mixture, which this is one of my favorite things for Mexican cuisine, right? Yes. We love that. It's just chopped up cilantro, chopped up onion. We did add a little bit of lime juice, just a little bit of extra juiciness to it. I don't always have the lime juice, just sometimes, but I thought with the nachos, it'll kind of be nice to kind of bite through that really rich, cheesy taste. You want to add the um, jalapenos for me? Sure. Thank you. Just sprinkle them on yeah, top? Yeah, sprinkle them on top. So good. We like the fresh jalapenos in our house. You guys could use the pickled if you like. Uh, really, it's whatever you, know, you prefer in your family or your guests or whichever. Okay, so that's good there. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add the um, sour cream. So just going to take the end of the bag here and put a little... Just cut the end, and then we're gonna drizzle. Wow. You know what's pretty good, right? I know. It smells great, too. Yeah. All right. So, again, I think we should give them a try, right? Yeah. See how it tastes? Let's go. What do you want to do? I'm gonna go with this one right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. All right, so the Brookie nachos, they probably mm. won't disappoint. No, never do. Mm. Oh. And to the mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. So good. The chili powder. Mm-hmm. A little bit of heat. And definitely the scallions. You definitely need the scallions because they add delicious. The element of freshness. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can eat these any time of year. So good. Our favorite. All right. Let's try these. Mm. Chili or no chili? I don't know. Um, no I'm chili. right here. Okay. So good. Mm. That's right. Love the lime on mm -hmm. the onion. Yeah. So good. No, the lime. That I'm is great. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab one. I am Hot too. pepper. Right. Cheers. Thank you for joining me. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in. Mm. It's Culinary Works. All in the experience. We'll see you next time. <laughs>